hey hey so today's weekly productivity tip is um, partly it's it's still related to one of the five time strategies to unlock your freedom even if you have a zillion things on your to-do list um, and there are three steps that that I I've broken it into three steps it is also partly in response to just the madness in the world right now and the fact that you are likely working from home a lot more than normal and a lot of distractions in the home environment can really put a damper on your focus and your effectiveness when you're running a business. So let's talk about it. Okay, so um, as one of the five time strategies to unlock your freedom, even if you have a zillion things to do, um, I've identified three three steps that will um, that are quick to apply will absolutely make a difference for you, and you can start using them today. So let's talk a little bit about um, <laughs> what happens if we don't make changes, right? Um, you can keep feeling time crunched like you're too busy, like you can't stay focused, like there are a million distractions around you at any given time. Your anxiety level is a distraction. Your, your stress level, your potential lack of sleep from the anxiety makes you more prone to distraction. Um, you have less discipline when we're in this state of stress and anxiety and, and um, manic <laughs> reactiveness, right? I know, I know, we see it all around us. It's happening right now. Um, so here's what's going on. So let's say you've had some meetings canceled. I know I have, and primarily in an abundance of caution to prevent the spread of germs. So with an unexpected gift of time. So I know this could happen even if the world isn't going mad and there isn't a, a pandemic <laughs> threat. Um, and by the way, my heart really goes out to those who are being directly affected by this, but we're going to, we're just going to put this aside because this is a universal productivity skill that you can use anytime. This is helpful whether we're dealing with a pandemic or not, because when you're running a business, you know, there, there's just a lot going on. You're running a business and a family, you have a life. You want to have your life back, whatever's going on. You want to feel more in control of your time. So when you have an unexpected gift of time or you've used the best practice principles of time blocking and you, you, you've chunked off, let's say, four hours for yourself to do to get some shit done. Oh, it's so amazing. It feels great. Or if you have even just a spare 20 minutes or half an hour in between some other things and you're like, oh, thank God, thank God, I just really need a breather. Okay, so what what should I be doing? So a tip that I've, that I've given you recently is to ask yourself a question, what is the best use of my time right now? You can always use that. You can use that in conjunction with today's tip. But, you know, maybe you already have something planned. So let's go let's say you have an unexpected few hours on your calendar. So if you had a meeting canceled across town, that would have been like drive time, a couple hours in the meeting and then drive time back. You're like, Oh, thank you God. Now I can get so much stuff done. Right. You feeling like this a little bit. Okay. So, um, the problem is caution, the illusion of time creates waste. And this is a little phrase that I came up with a few years ago and I repeat all the time. <clears throat> why does this happen? It's human nature because when we have plenty of something, we don't use it as conscientiously. We're not great about saving resources when we think we have enough. So when you have plenty, when you think you have plenty of time to get something done or to take a break, you'll basically fritter it away. You'll dilly dally. You'll, you'll mostly unconsciously spend more time jacking around playing around on social media, walking more slowly. Uh, maybe you, you do some of the things that you haven't been able to do in a while, which is just slow down and go with the flow a little bit. And that is great. We all, so I want to make this point really clear. 
I'm not saying that's a bad thing. I'm saying that is a great thing and you should slow down and just enjoy life at certain moments. But if you're expecting yourself to get a shitload of stuff done in the next four hours and then you just fritter it away, what happens? Then you feel bad, right? You feel like you fail that expectation of yourself or yeah, you feel, you might feel guilty. You might be a little bit angry at yourself. I was going to get these six things done. I mean, that was a lot of time. I could have got, I could have made progress on that one big project I've been putting off. I could have made a bunch of calls. I could have, I could have blah, blah, blah. I could have, could have, should have, would have, right? So <laughs> when you're faced with this, I'm going to get so much done. I'm going to feel amazing. And the, all the possibilities start popping into your brain. That's the opportunity to do these three steps. Okay. So I'm going to share them. One. Um, well, <laughs> this cracks me up. Okay. I thought I, <laughs> I thought I printed the right notes, but I didn't. So now I got to go by memory. Okay. Um, step one, break your bigger chunk of time down into smaller bites. So 45 minutes or less works best for most people. Okay, so if you have four hours, four hours means a lot of 45 minute chunks. So even if you do 45 minutes and then you take 15 minutes to jack around or take a nap or go to the bathroom, take a short walk, and then you do another 45 minutes, then you'll end up getting more done because step two, it works really well. Step two in conjunction, Make it intentional. Regardless of what you choose to spend your time on, make it intentional. So if you have four hours and you need a break because you do need a breather sometimes, we you do need a break sometimes, we need to just have a little self-care. Maybe one of those 45 minute chunks is a nap or some meditation or yoga or taking a walk outside. That's fine. What happens I think you see where I'm going with this. What happens is you're like, I fall off this huge chunk of time and then I want I could do this. I could take a walk. I could get that proposal done. I could make a bunch of calls. I could um, make myself a lunch from scratch. I could um, sit down and do that strategic planning I've been meaning to do, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Then none of it gets done. But if you pick four things and you spend a solid four a focused 45 minutes on each of those four things. One of them's take a break. One of them's um, draft that proposal. One of them's make some calls. And I forgot what the other one that you get the idea, right? Then it's very intentional. Even if you say the whole four hours, I am going to take a break. I'm going to absolutely purposefully take the afternoon off. I'm not going to do anything work until five o'clock tonight, whatever. That's fine. Just make it intentional. And the third step is to use the Olympic uh, technique <laughs> that Olympians use. Um, Izumi Tabata. You've heard of the Tabata in workout classes. So in physical fitness, the Tabata method is 20 seconds of all out focused effort. I mean, all in 20 seconds and rest for 10 seconds all in 20 seconds, rest for 10 seconds. And typically these are, you do this eight times and then you do it, um, you repeat for different exercises for a four minute workout, which is intense as F, right? You can use this in your work. So 20 minutes is great or, you know, 30 minutes, 60 minutes, whatever it is. So you can use this for your 45 minute chunks. Each, imagine if you use this, each of those 45 minute chunks, say so you're gonna do four main things, you got a little bit of breathing space in between, each 45 minute chunk, you break into two 20 minute sprints. It's all out effort. And then you just take a step back and you go, okay, now what do I need to get done in the next 20 minute sprint? Can you even imagine how amazing you'll feel at the end of this four hour chunk? Okay, if one of those is a 45 minute nap, then don't set the timer for 20 minutes obviously, but you get the idea, right? You can see the magic of the possibilities. Also special limited time, very low price on your five time strategies to unlock your freedom is available now. Message me if you have any questions. Don't miss out.
It's really good. <laughs> All right. See you soon.